and my Christmas lights, or no, my Halloween lights. These are my Halloween lights. They call candy can candy corn lights. I put them up. I swear a ghost. A ghost must have went up against. Undid my candles last night. Here's my Christmas lights. And these. Re I re taped them. I need one bulb. One bulb broke last night. You can't win. You can't win. Uh, win it all. lights. I think they're pretty pretty cool. Well, you know, I, I want to talk about a few things. Um, let's shut this light out. Put this on it. Man, it was a ghost or something last night, man. I was talking to Kate last night. Shout out to Kate. It's another dude. And all of a sudden, that thing shook. I'm like, well, now it's over here. I go ahead and take this. Halloween decorations. Check this out. It'd be even cooler when the lights are out. Or pumpkins that light up. You know what, guys? Uh, you know, I seen a video. I saw a video today. Um... I saw a video today. A dude drowned in the river. Okay, let me. Mm, mm, mm. And you know, the thought of it, kind of a fetish, that sort of turns me on. The idea of a hot chick watching. Um, but anyway, it's a long story. But so I saw this video. You guys gotta check it out and give me your guys' opinion about it. It's on Live Leak. Just put Buffalo, New York drowning. Two guys drowned. Buffalo, New York, and. Niagara River at this park. There's like here's the park crosses Canada. You could probably throw a pebble and a rock and hit Canada. <laughs> anyway, it's it's a park in Buffalo, New York. So one guy's in the river. He goes in there, okay, and he's trying to get wood to make for a piece for furniture, a black dude, 29 years old, I think. The other guy that saves him is like 46 or 48 or 49 or something like that. Okay, guys, there's a thing called undercurrents and undertows. Please explain what the difference between an undertow and an undercurrent is in a river. Apparently, undercurrents can be on the surface. I mean, you can you know, 12 miles per hour under the, sur under the top of the water and drag people. Way far out in the river or the ocean, and the undercurrent can also apparently pull people under the water at 12 miles or plus per hour with a water current. And you can't see it because above it looks calm, but I guess under is like, 
crazy water motion. Then there's Edies or Eddies. Someone please explain. They say they were in an eddy or an Edie, and they were in like a current, in the undercurrent, I guess, pulled them under. Other people said they weren't good swimmers. They were, okay, so the guy goes in there, he gets the wood for the piece of furniture, loses the grip, current takes him, swept him away. Okay fighting for his life. So the other guy decides, apparently they know each other, so the other guy figures he's going to save the guy. So he goes in, so immediately the guy tries to drown his friend to stay afloat, to stay above the water. It's human nature, human natural reaction. Okay, so it turns out both of them ended up drowning. Here's, okay, this is Niagara River. This happened recently, very recently. Here's my question to you guys. Do you think Michael Phelps can survive that? Let me know in the comment section. Because they say they weren't good swimmers, but then they say they're divers, like rescue divers that put their lives at risk doing this, saving people. So let me know what you guys think of Michael Phelps, if you think that he can handle undercurrent, and undertoes, and ease, and whirlpool. It's almost like a whirlpool. I don't know. I mean, there's ways to survive them, but just let me know. I'm curious. God damn. I need a snack. Got a good flashlight. Uh, apparently it has a charger on it. leave me two slim gems. See? I'm good. I'm good, guys. Taco Bell for, oh, for lunch. I love Taco Bell. I almost drowned when I was like four years old. My dad, or five or six or five years old, my dad dry, or pulled me from, yanked me by my hair. But I know how to swim. I'm a good swimmer, even though I'm out of shape. I used to be in better shape. I used to be real good at basketball. I still can dribble. I could play piano. I made up my own songs. The days I didn't drink. I know Kate. Wanted me to quit drinking, but she said she'd be proud if I quit. If I had a girl, I guarantee you, if I had a sexy hot chick, I wouldn't drink. Now, if she drank, I would, but I wouldn't abuse it. I only abuse it because I've, I don't have girl, I don't have girlfriends, I don't have relationships. I never get no gratification from girls, so I drink. Been that way my whole fucking life. And I'm sorry, Squiggle Wiggle guys were put here. The purpose of men is to be with girls. That's it. How do you think there's people in the world because it takes two to tango? If it wasn't for a girl and a guy, there wouldn't be people on the planet. Duh. If everybody was like me, there'd be nobody on earth because I have no kids. I have no babies. I, have, I never had a kid. I don't have kids. I have no kids. There'd be no people on the face of the earth or planet. Because I'll be 40 years old and I'm going to be probably alone the rest of my life. And you know, it hurts worse than cancer. I'm going to tell you that much, people. Going to work, being miserable every day. And the, only, the only thing I look forward to is food. It's been that way my whole life, really. I just had to speak my mind. It's way different being a man than a woman. 
We ain't the same. Fuckity fuck.